All right, guys, so super exciting video here today. We're doing a sponsored video with EA. Shout out to them for making this happen. We're joined by a few EA employees here to do this video. We're doing a 2v2 Ryder Cup foursomes match, and we're talking about the new patch, everything upcoming in this in this patch, and even beyond as well. We discussed a little bit as well what's coming after this Ryder Cup patch, but this is probably the biggest patch they've ever done so far, and I'm really excited about a lot of these updates, uh, foursomes, uh, four ball, all of these modes coming to the online, which we'll talk about in in this video so yeah make sure to drop a like if you enjoy the content and check out the new patch coming out uh, thursday the 26th i believe so that should be absolutely awesome enjoy the video all right guys so my teammate from madrid luis ruana you want to tell me what you do for the team in, in ea hi so i'm the lead producer for live services here at pea at the studio in madrid so hola a todos to all the spanish speakers that we have in channel all right, so yeah, me and Lewis are gonna be representing Team Europe and Craig and Ben are gonna be representing Team US. Craig, you wanna introduce yourself first? Hey, yeah, back again. Um, lead gameplay designer on, on PGA here. So uh, thanks for having me back on. And uh, yeah, even though I'm Canadian, I'm wearing the, the US hat today. So doing my best to, uh, to represent. It's good to have you back. And Ben, uh, I've been in a video with you before, but this is your first time on my channel. Good to have you back. And Elias there as well. Uh, you guys want to tell me what you do for the team? Yeah, sounds good. I'm Ben Ramsauer, I'm lead producer uh, over our partnerships and our courses and gameplay teams. Uh, I'm excited to be back. Thanks for having us. And I've got my hype girl and hopefully a couple cameo shots from Elias. Hi everyone, Elias Bertrand on the brand and marketing team. Excited for this. Let's get after Sweet. it. All right, so loading up, there's the new menu screen with the Ryder Cup trophy there. And once you press A, you're selecting your team. Uh, you want to tell me a little bit about like what happens when you select either side? Absolutely, yeah. So the the theme and uh, the the takeover for this season is, is Ryder Cup. Uh, so right away, Ryder Cup is more than just a mode in this game. It's an entire makeover of the game in many ways. So this uh, team selection is the first thing you see. Um, it's a decision with consequence. Um, it's uh, picking your allegiance for the entire season. It's a choice that you can't uh, um, redo afterwards. So once you make that selection, it's gonna impact a number of different things in the game. Uh, so I'll let you pick your side and we can talk a little bit more about that. Perfect, I am going to select Team Europe. Uh, your team cannot be changed as it says here. That's what you were mentioning. And uh, yeah, there's the beautiful new Ryder Cup background. And this is going to be like completely different based on which t team you choose as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. So right away you see you can't miss it. It's the Ryder Cup right now. There's no hiding it or anything. So you're you're right there. Uh, your golfer wearing the Europe uniform. The background is different. The colors and theming of the menu is different. Um, and one of the things that this impacts uh, that we can actually jump into right away to take a look at is the pro pass. So okay. the content that you're going to be receiving in the cosmetics are different depending on whether or not you selected Europe or USA as your team. So because you're Europe, you're going to see a bunch of Euro European themed cosmetics. Um, Luis, do you want to talk a little bit more about pro pass? Yeah, sure. So um, as you were saying, um, it was key for us to have this um, critical decision coming up at the beginning and then having direct consequences during gameplay and also um, in the pro pass. I think that our art uh, department has done a great job reimagining all the different equipment that you could get uh, from the European side or the uh, US side. So that's something that you uh, you guys will see when playing the game. Uh, we have some great equipment for you, for you to to get during this uh, pro pass. Cool. I'm allowed to scroll through it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look and at just all, have the, a look, yeah. all the okay, gear sweet. that's in there. Oh, the Europe bucket hat. That's sick. Yeah. yeah. The mm -hmm. quantities on the the coins and XP and things like that might change before we release. We're still I think working on tuning some of that stuff, but the okay. uh, the specs and the cosmetics are all. Uh, final there so you can take a scroll through the um, uniform that you see in there is um, the REA imagine multiverse version of the the uniforms um, we do have the actual authentic uniforms as well in the game um, but those are currently under embargo the European team hasn't released their uh, real uniforms yet so you're gonna have to wait till the week of the tournament in order to to see those they're not going to be in the pro pass but um, you'll be able to play with them uh, in gameplay 
Okay, cool. So the uniform you'll see here is not the official Ryder Cup uniform, but we'll be getting those uh, a little bit closer to when the actual patch is coming out. Correct, yeah. Perfect. I noticed something was locked there on the tier that's not shown on tier 45. Is that something that's under embargo? Yeah, if you, if, that's, uh, if you take a look at that, if you look at the reward, that's the um, uh, bag that we have in there. Um, okay. That's just a little bug on our end that we're missing a thumbnail. That'll be fixed by the time of launch. This is a pre-release build that we're working on here, so still a couple issues that will be fixed before uh, the patch launches. So. Okay, awesome. And we're going to be doing a private match uh, all the Ryder Cup modes, foursomes, four ball, they're all going to be available to play online, and you're going to have Ryder Cup specific uh, playlists, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, one of the cool things about uh, the roster of courses that we have um, uh, is that it happens that we don't. We're adding Marco Simone, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in this patch, which is the the current Ryder Cup course. But we actually have four other courses that have previously hosted Ryder Cup. And so we're taking advantage of that, and we're also having them into the into the Ryder Cup playlists uh, when you're playing with them in private match online quick play as well. You can play on those courses: uh, Kiowa, Whistling Straits, uh, the Country Club, and Oak oh, Hill's the other one. If you want to jump into quick play, you're actually going to see some new Ryder Cup formats in there as well. Yeah, so you can kind of jump into one of those and just take a look at what it what it looks like. We've okay, got yeah, yeah. see the five yeah. courses there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, the quick play formats, you're gonna be able to choose your side in those and just give you the freedom of doing that when you're playing with your friends uh, locally. You guys can can you know grab controllers and choose who wants to be on the US side or the Europe side. So we're giving you uh, that freedom there to, to play with those, uh, those formats. Um, so that's all a part of this Ryder Cup thing is uh, we talked about online private match. Quick play is also Ryder Cup themed. Um, Tournaments as well is another area that um, I don't think that we have them yet on this build, but the uh, weekly and seasonal tournaments will all be Ryder Cup themed at those Ryder Cup courses with uh, crowd enabled. Um, so that's uh, another part of the Ryder Cup branding that is affecting that mode as well. Okay, sounds good. And with the quick play uh, Ryder Cup theme, is it going to be like if you're doing a foursomes match, will there be AI involved in that then, is it? Like, you can take a look at it. Yeah, it's up to you whether you want it to be AI or um, local golfers. You can you can change them. Okay. Yeah. So okay. totally up to you if you want to do just yourself against the AI or make them all local golfers. Um, nice one. Yeah. So uh, you want to tell me a little bit about Marco Simone, Ben? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's an incredible course outside of Rome. For those that don't know, um, it was specifically designed. Uh, and redone recently to be a great match play course. You can see on the loading screen the, the castle in the distance. That's actually a 14th century castle that they redid. I'll let the intro run here and tell more. Yeah, this was this is dope. Part of we we spent a lot on the uh, a lot of effort on the intro and stuff too, and uh, we have a new Ryder Cup theme song that you'll hear in the background. Uh, in the main menu and also in the intro and uh, some certain lines you'll hear uh, some of the crowd chants come in at certain points awesome yeah so crowds in online is another thing that's uh, brand new to this patch so people have been asking about that for a while um, how did you go about getting that in, implemented in for this patch yeah that was a big priority for us you can't have the Ryder Cup without crowds so we uh, knew that was definitely a priority for us to do um, and, and so, yeah, it was um, a bit of a challenge to figure out how to make sure the crowd is reacting correctly to each of the golfers in there, but we got it all figured out. Um, crowd is not gonna be in the 16 player simultaneous, and that's just because of performance. It's a lot to have uh, 16 players in there plus crowd, uh, plus with 16 balls flying around, it's a bit much for the crowd to figure out which one to look at and react to and things. So. Uh, but crowd is now uh, available in all the turn-based formats. So match play, foursomes, four ball. Even outside of the Ryder Cup modes as well? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so both in the middle of the fairway here off the start. Um, I noticed as well when we're hitting our shots, you have the blue theme leaderboard kind of thing up the top right. And when the U.S. are hitting, it's the red. That's yeah, cool. that, that helps. Uh, it's on theme, but also helps know 
you know, whose shot it is. Yeah. Uh, so that was a nice little update. Right. This is the first shot I'm seeing from Luis now, so let's see what's up. <laughs> Not really good. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that's an easy up and down. All right. ND Cub fan is you, Ben, right? That's you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. I forgot to give myself the finesse shot, so I got to adjust my game a little bit here. Okay. That is really cool there. I love the, the US themed shaft as well. Oh, yeah. That is cool. Got to represent. Yeah, our, our team did just Ooh. amazing. Oh, oh, come on, baby. Oh. We're in trouble. Oh. We're in trouble. I, know. I got a hold of this now. I think it's the right. pressure risk. Greg and I have been me. getting our reps in, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is match play, though. If we hold this, you know, I'll put the pressure straight back on there. <laughs> All right. The power of the mustache here. Come on. <laughs> Go in. Oh, oh my oh. God. <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> that would have been epic. Yeah. Like, all right. <laughs> yeah, the crowd. So you, you can, can hear, hear the crowd there. there in the background. Yeah. Actually, yeah. So that was so taken up the crowd a little bit more. So again, power of frostbite and EA is we um, we've been able to take the crowd technology from uh, nice our FC product, our Madden <laughs> products, and um, you know really make it you know, awesome for the game, and then. Our audio team did a great job of, uh, we recorded uh, on the roof of our parking garage, uh, USA chants and Europe chants to, to add into here. And I think the soundscape is, is really cool as part of the crowds we have. In the quiet areas, you'll hear like little Vespas and Italian church bells going around. You know, you can also hear like as the, the crowd is getting amped up, you know, different times Well, they'll do the USA chants. And of course, around 1 and 18, we're super super crowded uh, in real life. You know, we really try to amp up the crowds there. Let's see you drive it. All right. I prefer if you didn't though, I'll be honest. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a bit up the hill. Still a tough one though. So you used like real world, um, had you used it from like previous Ryder Cups, like Chance and stuff like that? Yeah, so we we specifically recorded the Team USA and the Team Europe chants um, as as part of a broader. Uh, uh, we're recording a lot of crowd chants right now for our college football game, um, okay. and so when we were doing that, we added in the USA. But we have our soundscapes across the entire game. We've been able to leverage our partnership with the PJ Tour um, to get a lot of authentic crowds and then code them in uh, for each of the courses, and then. Our, our art team is and our audio team has gone and um, made specific treatments for all now 35 of the courses. So you'll hear Chicago blues music when you're playing at Olympia Fields. You hear Italian music. Um, like Craig mentioned, we have a new theme song um, that we added in. We actually used a composer to reimagine the Masters theme song at the start oh, of the cool. project and um, all of the different majors. So. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of subtleties that uh, add to the immersion of not just how beautiful it is, but how it actually feels with the soundscape. Oh, that's bang average. I'm sorry, Luis. No, no, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> thinking I'm, I'm the one that is, you know, dragging the team down. I uh, know, no. That was a good drive. Now we're gonna, you're gonna make that anyway. I think that's a nice little easy downhill putt. That's uh that's not a gimme. A little bit of work for you there. Ben's knees will be shaking on that one. You can see a little bit too in the background, uh when you're playing in the, the Ryder Cup there as well. Yeah, when you're playing in the Ryder Cup you can see the crowd is a little bit uh has some uniforms on. Okay, so cool. You'll see them kind of themed a little bit according to uh USA and Europe wearing some different uniforms. That's cool. That's like Ryder Cup specific as well, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that oh. turned a lot. All right. Everything breaks towards Rome on this hole. <laughs> uh, it's to, to our left here, about 10 miles away. Yeah, you can see as well, there's a lot of like fields and stuff in the background. This is quite like isolated from, uh, from the rest of Rome. You were saying it's a little bit of a ways out, isn't it? Yeah, it feels like the movie Gladiator when you're going out into the countryside. Okay. 
It is one one hour drive from downtown. So one hour, okay. Great. Stay oh, up. He's missed it. Oh, oh. all right, we're Look good. That. We got away with it. <laughs> right, I'm gonna start hitting some better shots. We're now. trying to make good. We're trying to make good YouTube here. We didn't want to run away with it too early. <laughs> All right, so one other question I've been got, getting a lot about as well as the the match play bug. I think Craig mentioned it to me, but that's been uh, that's been fixed, right? Yeah, the that's been fixed. Dormy one. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. There was yeah an unfortunate uh, bug there with the scoring, so that's all all fixed. Um, so yeah, no no issues with that. Everyone's got to put their putts out. No uh, no gimmies. And that oh, is no in the partner. rough. What's the rough like here at Marco Simone? It is gnarly. It yeah, you really? can talk about yeah. that, Ben. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh I mean you'll you'll see it in the actual um if you get out there in that yellow stuff especially, it really impacts it. I, Craig, I guess go in a little bit with how you tune each course is rough. Um and what you did unique for this one. Yeah, it's uh that's you know, I don't know. A ton about the course other than the the one number one thing that you hear when you're when you're going to it is just how thick the rough is and how penalizing it is um mm -hmm. so that was definitely something that we uh made sure to put into the game that it's uh you know on par with the likes of like a bay hill in our game as far as how thick and punishing the rough is okay um so so yeah you'll so be having like some 70 60 percent lies if you're in there from pretty far out yeah yeah it, yeah with our game it depends on you know the distance which club you're mm -hmm. using and stuff right so uh, when you're using a wedge, it's, it's not going to be uh, as pen penalizing when you get out. But if you're trying to, you know, hit a seven iron or anything higher, it's going to be really hard to get anything out of there. Come back, come back. Good shot, Luis. Good shot. Is this yeah, is this a par five? Yeah. Okay. Eagle yes. putt. And like, this, you're so probably going to have to have, lay up here, huh? I am, and I have. I specifically uh, respect my character character to have the hack shot. Um, in case, you know, my partner does stuff like this where he hits it out into the rough. <laughs> um, so, unfortunately, I have to lay up, but um, at least I'll be able to lay it up further because of having the hack shot. Okay, sweet. What's your percentage out of that rough there, if you don't mind me asking, even with the hack shot? So, I, if I hit a, sorry, it's probably not great on your end, but if, so if I'm hitting a hack shot with a 9-iron, I can get to 100%. Okay. Uh, but if Nine it's iron. a Ooh. if it's if it's a five iron, it's it's sixty seven percent. Okay. Um, yeah. If it's a six iron, it's an eighty percent. Seven iron, eighty seven. Uh, you know, obviously, the more lofty you get, the easier it is to get out. But then, if so, I'm yeah, just hitting a regular, if I'm yeah, if I'm hitting a regular approach shot. Um, the nine iron is ninety percent instead of a hundred percent. So okay. Um, let me get back. Hopefully, I don't get timed out. That's the thick stuff then. Yes, <clears throat> but I think it'll be interesting for people as they're as they're looking at this the skills of their character. Um, it's a different kind of setup than a lot of other courses we have in the game. So, like I said, the hack shot's important. Um, you know, when we met with the superintendent, it's it's firm. It's going to roll out a okay. lot. So having a you know like a stinger and that kind of shot will be helpful. Um, you know, they in real life, you know, you can crank the wind up, the wind, you know, because it's kind of up on a hill outside of the city, so it should get some wind. Um, so different, it's kind of like a combination of, of a link style course, um, but you know, obviously not right on the coastline, not quite as firm as a as like a St. Andrews would be. Okay, cool. So downhill eagle putt to win the hole. What do you reckon, Louis? Should I do it to him? Yeah, I mean, if you can do it, it'd be amazing. <laughs> Burn! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh! Ooh, he's I got some legs hard. left on that one. I hit it too hard. That was a tough one, though. Oh, it was like away. 12 inches downhill. He was a tough one, yes. I thought it might come back down a little bit off your shot. It was unlucky. So we ended up scanning the course the same way that we did um, all of our other courses. Um, and, you know, we've actually shared oh. the builds with 
um, with Team USA and Team Europe, they're going to have it in their um, their clubhouse because a lot of the guys haven't actually seen the course before in real life until last week when you know Team USA went over for a, a pre-round thing. So they're actually going to be using the game since it's so realistic to like start imagining their lines. Um, obviously, the breaks you can see this is very very heavy breaking putt. Yeah, I've noticed that on the first few holes. There's some severe slopes on these greens. All right, Luis, we're going to have to get get back in business here. I know, I know. Comeback season. <clears throat> um, another thing we haven't talked about yet that uh, is coming with this patch is uh, challenges as well as getting the Ryder Cup makeover. Um, and so uh, we're leveraging again that roster of courses that we have who have hosted previous Ryder Cups and you're going to be seeing uh, a set of Ryder Cup challenges for each of those four courses oh, shoot. going cool. back and reliving some of those historic moments um, so our designer has been doing an awesome job of looking at old footage and uh, and those moments and, and creating some really cool challenges on those courses That's um, awesome. so yeah match play as well is as a part of that is coming to challenges so um you'll be able to do some match play challenges against uh against people so will that be involving the pros as well that took part in the Ryder cup that are in we don't in have any any um of those pros from the historic ones and it's kind of a oh uh, it's a historic thing okay yeah historic thing so you know it would be a matter of getting some of those guys who aren't aren't playing anymore and stuff so okay, um okay. but what we do have are um uh some uh i guess generic golfers for us and eu you'll be you'll be able to see them in in quick play as well um so uh some kind of just usa and europe golfers that you can play with um in those cases we don't have any of the current european uh golfers in the game so um but we got five of the us golfers so you can play with them Okay. In quick cool. play. Yeah. All right. We need to make one, Luis. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Oh. We needed that one. Oh, nice, but let's go. Yes. Have ourselves a ball game. All right. We needed that badly, so. Oh, there's a little car path that I see there. I don't know. That's tempting. <laughs> a few extra yards. <laughs> uh, oh, with the downhill of this shot, I don't know. Is, is, it, is it. it possible to drive it over there? Do you think, like to the to the fairway here, or is it even worth it? Only one I, way to find out. I, I'd like <laughs> I'd like to see you try, and hopefully it ends up in the vineyard out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it for the content. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, sliced it. Oh, yes. That is perfect. Oh, nice. Great <laughs> shot. There you go. All right, please. Now we're cooking. That's a home team European bounce if I've ever seen one. <laughs> right on. So something yeah. that I wanted to mention as well is like this patch for us, it's very, very special because we've been working on it, um, you know, like since I can say maybe June in the background while we were doing everything else. And since this team is kind of, you know, here in the US and Spain and Austin, like, all around the world, we kind of have the kind of spirit of the of the Ryder Cup. We've been having a war um, inside competition. We've been putting a lot of love and effort to make sure that we are capturing a bit of the Ryder Cup. So that's why I think that we are all excited to get this out of the door uh, very soon. Yeah, this is like the biggest patch you guys have done pretty much so far, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, a lot of content with this one and the new modes and everything for online is going to be a, a big spice up. Yeah, and I'm not sure if we glossed over it or fully talked about it, but when you're playing in... Good tight. Good tight. Great shot. Great Ooh. shot. Great shot. You're that dialed. is close. Is this a par 5, too? <laughs> Let's go! Or it's... No, this is a par 4, it's sorry. Par four. Yeah. Um, when you're playing in online modes, uh, you wear whatever team that you selected, so you'll, you'll always be European-themed, and then your teammates are going to wear that same... Uh, uniform and then your opponents will always be showing up as us regardless of who they've actually shown so mm -hmm. what that does is just allows matchmaking to be a much better experience it would be 
uh, it just really wouldn't work if you only matched up with European people and against US people um, because of time zones. You know, the European people are going to play at an earlier time. Yeah, the yeah. US people are going to play at a later time. So that's why it's uh, configured that way to make sure that everyone can find matches and find people to play. Sounds good. And something I wanted to ask about as well in regards to the online section, like with the match play, you have the leaderboards where you're like a certain world ranking, I guess, on the leaderboards. Is there something similar for like foursomes, four ball, Ryder Cup in general, or what's the story with that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're adding in foursomes and four ball. They'll have their own leaderboard filter within the current leaderboard. So you can all those, uh, all your, your performance, your wins and losses. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to cut you off there. <laughs> oh, man. Um, it's for the cup, of... man. <laughs> Fortunately, this is a pretty flat putt here. No problem. All right, we're going to stay one down. That was important. But yeah, continue. Sorry, yeah, I cut you no, off. No, leaderboard yeah, is, all, is all separate for those modes, um, so you can track your progress separately for that. Um, and there's also a new leaderboard, uh, which is a team's leaderboard. So each unique pair of... Uh, players gets their own ranking and wins and losses and that'll be tracking on a top 100 uh, leaderboard so you and your buddy can get together in online invite invite together match make as a group and compete against uh, other groups of, of two in, in foursomes and four ball so so that will be like specifically for you and that one friend like you'll have like if you played with a different person that would be a separate duo for the leaderboard then yep yeah, it'll okay. probably make more so we can take a look at it after the match to that's, probably be a bit more cool. clear looking at it. But um, yeah, so there's the solo leaderboard and teams leaderboard now. Okay, so like so for some speaking, four ball, speaking of teammates, the teams. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And so speaking of teammates, I'm going to bring in Aleas here to uh, nice. help us bring this puppy home. Let's do it. All right. Celebrity Down shot. Down the middle. <laughs> Pressure's on. Oh, I heard a lot of vibration oh. from the controller. Uh, that's good. <laughs> that's Kick good. Right. Kick right. Yes. Nice he ain't shot. the weak link, that's nice for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 187 sure. left. Yeah. Hit it close, partner. Oh, that's a good looking shot. That's a good looking shot. Oh, Team go. US is on fire. <laughs> Team US Take is on it. fire. <laughs> This is looking bleak. All right, I'm going to have to put one closer. All right, 30 foot up. Only have a silver finesse. Okay. All right. This one's for Team EU, baby. Sit! <laughs> Yeah, oh, come on! Don't run out. A little bit oh, of work. that's a tough putt. Tough putt. The chance, though. Back here on 14, 15 is a pretty cool part of the course. There's um, off to the side. There's some old ruins, like 14th century ruins. And what I was mentioning in, in the intro, there's the castle right in the middle. A, a fashion designer actually um, purchased the castle and owns the course and redid it and actually lives in this like crazy old castle, which. I think it looks really cool in the game and it's going to be, um, you know, one of the icon centerpieces of the tournament. Cool. Our uh, artists were able, we, when we were there, we, we flew a, a drone and did photogrammetry around all of these structures so that our artists could get a perfect, you know, um, 3D rendering of it. All right, Elias, let me help you out here. Okay. All right, so it's three inches down the hill, so you want to bring it down 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 there you go about to go two up with um, three to play the wind's going right. yeah your break is probably right there why don't you uh yeah there you go knock it in no coaching <laughs> it's the caddy oh she's got it oh, yes! oh. <laughs> Damn it. You practice in the full week right <laughs> <laughs> oh no Okay, so matches are going to be like nine holes for foursomes, four ball, front nine, back nine, kind of just alternating. Yeah, yeah, we'll um, we'll take a look at and see population wise. We'll probably be 
like one day doing foursomes, one day doing four ball, just because uh, it'll probably be tough to find matches if we have like everything open at once. Okay. Um, a lot of shot. Get on. Hit the bunker. Ah. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Just a little bit more. All right, I gotta go for the green. What? What distance you is your driver? It. Um. Three. It's fairly downhill, so that's why I forget exactly what my distance was. But. All right. This is either gonna you be on the green it. or in the water, Luis. But you gotta go for it. I'm fine. Let's do it. <laughs> It went left instead of right, thankfully. It's good. It's good. Come back Problem. around. You gotta Come go get around. it. No. Uh -oh. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. Down two with three to play. I mean, you, you gotta go get it, right? I know. We're in trouble. Could end right here. So, uh, one other question as well was about the level cap. Uh, I think there's something came out about that already, but the level cap increase? Yeah, we're gonna be increasing the level cap from 50 to 60. Oh no. Hang on. Oh no. Okay. Uh, 50 to 60. I accidentally hit blast instead of pick. <laughs> <laughs> I used to always do that. <laughs> um, yeah, and reasoning for that is just to kind of keep it fresh, allowing you to, um, you know, keep working on it, upgrading your golfer. It was definitely time to do that. I think a lot of people were already at uh, max level. Um, uh, oh uh -oh. no. Why don't you just give us the trophy? <laughs> <laughs> I think that needed to be a flop, probably. <laughs> yeah, in, in retrospective, I think so. <laughs> All right, I'm going to need to chip it in. I can do that, no problem. All right. Should we let him win the hole just so we get to see the last couple holes? Yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait and see if I can chip it in first. Oh no, what a bad shot. <laughs> Looks <Oops>. like real life. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now I'm going to make you pay for making that mistake by chipping it in. Let's see it. There you go. No, Come no on. Problem. Oh, no <laughs> Step up. Alright, we needed that. <laughs> All right. You don't have uh, to let us win anymore. Yeah, I think I'm uh, the, the next level of difficulty for you, man. Like, you play with me, it's just a new <laughs> challenge. <laughs> no worries. That's right. Luis is a human slider. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, come, it's comeback time now. Oh my God. Okay. Um, yeah, no, it should be interesting with the level cap increasing, though, because I think it does mix up the meta a little bit. It allows you to figure out where else you want to invest your, uh, your skill points. But... Oh! <laughs> Stop short. That's how you intentionally miss by nine inches. <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose like that kind of goes hand in hand with like balancing the golfers a little bit as well from being like 99 rated overall and stuff like that. Yeah, it will so. mean that you're going to see an, an adjustment in your OVR of your golfers. Mm -hmm. So if you already were 99, it's going to drop you down just because we're going to change the scale. Uh, so. Uh, so sorry about that. If you were already 99 and really like that number, uh, it's going to go down a little bit, but you're going to be able to get it back, uh, get back up. We're only going to be doing this once. It was just something that if we would have had some more foresight around it, we would have built more buffer there. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're already in the middle or lower down, you're not really going to see much of a change in your OVR. It's just changing that that scale. So yeah, those 99 guys need a bit of a <laughs> need a bit of a need to be humble thing anyway. <laughs> All right, let's see if uh, Ben can get the job done here. It's a beautiful par three. A few matches will be finished on this hole, I'm sure. I think so. It's going to be a focal point. All right, that's mm. not easy. Uh, we need one another thing, chip in. One thing we haven't really talked yeah. about is uh, career mode with Ryder Cup. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, there there isn't going to be a Ryder Cup mode or tournament within career mode. Um, it was something that in a perfect world, you know, we could do anything and everything with the Ryder Cup, but just realistically looking at resources and time and what we had, uh, the decision for us would have been kind of an either or between doing a tournament against AI within career mode. Uh, oh, I left that one dangerously short. Um, 
either that or doing like online foursomes and four bowl and all this stuff and and for us it was a pretty easy decision once we kind of did the math and figured that out that the essence of the Ryder Cup is really about playing with other people golf is such a solo experience that uh the Ryder Cup experience we thought the community would appreciate more is these online modes on having your own Ryder Cup in in private matches that you can do or competing online so uh that's why we kind of chose to focus our effort in that direction yeah i think that makes the most sense definitely that was not a very good shot there we wanted to expand on on online and social because i think that that's the way to go that's what we were lacking when we launched the game and we hear it clearly so that's why we took the decision of you know going on that direction and the writer Mm -hmm. cap offered us the perfect opportunity to do that so that's why um we decided to invest in in social more than career this doesn't mean that we are not going to keep improving career because okay. there are certain things that we could do <laughs> and what an epic fail there, Ben. But, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, we are going to carry on with career in the next uh, updates. Yeah, no, I think that makes the most sense. I think that uh, expanding the online and kind of getting uh, those extra modes is uh, definitely what was the priority, should have been the priority. All right, Luis, this is our chance. Get it back to all square going to the last. No pressure there. No pressure at all. Oh, yes! oh, 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 That was a That's rocket. Like a... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what a putt. That was going about 20 foot by if it doesn't go in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got a 623 yard par five to finish down the hill. I want to be avoiding this bunker. Hell of a finishing hole. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All right, Luis, I think that's shook him now a little bit. Get down there. Keep going, keep going. This is our comeback. I can this play. is the comeback season. <laughs> the Europe boys have more power. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Uh-oh. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's Uh-oh. leaking. That's leaking. Can have some work, Ben. Oh, it's in the heavy stuff. Oh, oh that's not reachable. Good thing he got that hack shot. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Even with Ooh, the I didn't hack, even see all that water. Sixty-seven percent. Even with the hack. Even with the hack, it's sixty-seven percent, and that Yikes. really thick stuff. Uh, <laughs> if I tried to hit a wood out of it, it would be nineteen percent. Driver, driver, I think. Craig, you tuned it too good, buddy. <laughs> good shot good layup Thanks. Ooh, that pin is all the way out on the left Luis we have to decide whether we're going to go for this or not tempting mm. Ooh. tough decision I already have experience with wet there so <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll try to avoid it is it worth the risk no I don't think so it's not worth the risk, yeah. Right side. Oh, you green. can't lay up, Luis. No, he's not gonna lay up. He's just gonna play a smart <laughs> shot to the front right of the green. Exactly. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, perfect. Stay right. Stay right. Please. <laughs> oh, that's mega. Come on, stay oh, there. Great shot. Stay. Okay, nope. that's fine. That's fine. Well. Easy up and down. Oh, this is tense now. Ryder Cup just makes it more tense, doesn't it? Yes. Totally. Right, there's a lot of water here left there. I don't know if you're seeing it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Spin back. Check. Check. Get tight. Oh, wow. Yes! Shot. <laughs> what a <laughs> shot. All right, I got to get it closer than that. Oh my god, You're this that is USA. You're that downhill USA. the whole way. I think I need to flop this. 
My last flop was terrible, though, so. <laughs> All right. Let's not get in there. Go! Keep going. Oh, no. Mm. I feel so the beat of that. Oh, this is a tough little putt. USA. Wait, no, wait. Whoa. No, no, no. That was that, that was tempting. <laughs> Switch sides. Hey, you it's know good. what? I appreciate the support. <laughs> All right. We need to please. quiet them down. We're in Europe. Come on. <laughs> that would be an option for us, you know. Like we, we should add it in the in the menu, like yeah, exactly. eliminate rival chance. He's gone. Yes. Nice. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> All right, Luis, left lip. Okay. You got this. No! <laughs> oh, Great match, game. fellas. What a game. Great match. You guys deserved it. You guys deserved it. I love how it shows the Ryder Cup trophy right after there as well. Beautiful. I honestly feel like I just played a real life match with Craig and like the adrenaline and intensity I have right now. That was so fun. I like, know. I we saw you jumping up out of your seat this. there a few <laughs> times from this angle. That was, uh... <laughs> Nothing like that team golf yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's class. I can't wait to, to play that. So this is coming out September 26th, correct? 26th. Yes. Yep. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to say about the patch before we go? Um, I just want to say future thank plans. You to, yeah, thank, uh, future plans. Yeah. Um, Luis, you want to take that? Yes. Yeah, so uh, now that the golf uh, season after the Ryder Cup is going to be a bit more quiet, we are going to have a bit of fun with Halloween in October. Okay. And in November, we will have something related to the golden season um, in the form of new competitions, new tournaments, and a bit of a surprise that we will unveil soon. So okay. that's what we have, really. Keeping adding content to the game, keeping adding challenges, keeping adding tournaments, um, gear, and and keeping an eye on, on really what, what fans uh, said that they want to see in, in the game and, and just plan when to do it. Awesome. And I guess one more question I have there is about like the Ryder Cup specifically. Once this season ends, will there still be the option to do these Ryder Cup modes online, uh, or will that kind of go away with the end of the season? We'll we'll definitely keep them in quick play and private match. Um, mm -hmm. As far as online, you know, they're going to be running the entire season. So I think at that point, there's going to be some fatigue and we'll kind of go back to the normal rotation. Um, oh, still still having foursomes and four ball, but probably okay. not Ryder Cup themes. So you can play the other courses at that point. Um, and then, you know, if there's a big demand for it, we're happy to bring them back uh, at some point. But I think people will be willing for, or wanting a change of pace uh, at that point. Um, so foursomes and four ball will stay in the online mode past this. Yeah, season. I mean, we're, we're going to keep listening. We're going to keep experimenting, uh, seeing what uh, you and the community like uh, as far as online. You know, we've uh, updated uh, the modes this last season to include some arcade and sim and online so depending on if we want to keep doing that uh, but yeah mixing up the modes and uh, providing providing some variety there so and how about uh courses because i know like they've kind of been theme specific like each course has kind of come with uh um like the Ryder cup coming with marco simone and stuff like that seeing as there's a bit of an off season now is there maybe room for some other kind of courses maybe fantasy style we're going to put courses aside and focus on improving the game and expanding feature-wise. Um, okay. And then courses maybe will come back um, okay. next year. But for the time being, we're going to be focusing on, you know, fixing things that we have in the game that we need to address, expanding the features, uh, making sure that the game runs smoothly and, and is a good experience for everybody. Um, and and that's the, the plan pretty much. Awesome. Yeah, well, thanks a lot of Just to expand on that a little bit, there's a lot of... Um work that we've done to like get all these new modes and new features and i'm really excited uh on the gameplay side of things to get back in and look at uh tuning some things mixing up the meta you know shot types things like that that uh, i think uh will be fun to kind of take a look at and see what we can to uh improve things in in certain areas there so um 
nothing really specific to, to say, but I think we can just show a lot of love to kind of the core gameplay stuff as well. Uh, okay. Take back to basics a little bit. So, if we do have courses, what uh, what's at the top of your list for for new courses? You said fantasy courses. Yeah, I want to see some some fantasy style courses, like maybe some of those ones that were uh, like what was the name of that one? Uh, Grand Canyon the, one, the Canyon Predator. Falls or something like that, Paradise Cove, those kind of ones. Yeah, I like. Are, yeah, I love those ones. Treasure, yeah, Treasure Island, Island, that was the one. Yeah. Treasure Island, yeah. yeah. That one was that awesome. It's a classic, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see some stuff like that. But anyway, thanks to you guys for joining me, all four of you. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for updating us on the future of the game. Looking forward to playing this patch. 26th. <laughs>